Hey, everybody. So today I am talking about teenagers. Ooh. <laughs> there, there's such a, uh, a fear around that age group. It's funny. But, um, you know, the teenagers, especially nowadays, are coming in a lot more spiritually aware, spiritually advanced, I feel. And it's such a part of them that they, they understand that all is well and they're okay, and they're safe. Um, and it's so much so that sometimes they don't take a lot of action. And I think that's the learning curve where we need to show them really how joyful action can be because that's what it is. You know, when, when we're, we, we can't be fully happy. We, we can be contented sitting around, but we can't, really be alive and joyful just sitting around. So if somebody is out there and they're, they're experiencing movement and expansion and doing things and using their gifts, there's this natural feedback of joy and pleasure that comes from them. And I think that's the big thing that we have to make sure these kids experience because there's so many levels of distraction nowadays that with the video games and the phones, they can constantly be distracted and not realize that they're not experiencing true joy in just living by, by interacting with life and using all their gifts. So, you know, what we need to do is make sure, you know, show them that, kind of bridge that uh, gap in the learning curve and get them to see that, you know, interacting with life is very joyful and it, and it really makes them feel good about themselves when they do it. Um, sometimes, you know, with the kids, we need to set um, consequences, just natural consequences, not punishment. If they're sitting around doing nothing all the time, we can't allow that their life to just stay the same because that's not how life works. <laughs> you can't just sit around doing nothing and experience the joy of life and continue becoming more of yourself. So, so the sitting around doing nothing can't be okay. You know, we have to kind of pull some of those distractions away or give them some sort of consequences. And uh, even more than that, though, I think it's feeding the positive as opposed to get it, giving consequences to the negative. Really try to get them interacting and taking part in things so they can experience the joy. Then they'll get hooked and want to continue that on themselves. They need the motivation, and the motivation is joy. So, um, so that's about it. So that's what we got to figure out is how to, you know, motivate them to experience joy, so they get hooked on it and want to experience more of it, and then they'll naturally get in the flow of doing it. Um, so that's that's basically the vlog. Um, I get into this more with the podcast and the blog, so check those out, and. Uh, that's it. We'll talk with you soon.